So hopefully you, if you give a negative comment, a positive comment, you actually watched the whole video through and you know, you got it and you understand what I'm saying and you're actually, you know, going ahead and taking the time to understand what I'm saying before you just leave a comment saying whatever. So hey everybody, it's Clausina9 here and today, as promised, I am doing an updated review of the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick. And so, of course, I have the summer collection, as we all know. Um, I will be doing like a funny skit type video on these because I just think that it's so hilarious how people think it's like normal to refrigerate your lipsticks. I don't understand why people are getting so angry. I just, that's what I'm not understanding is that if the product's not good, why are you guys getting angry? So this is Posh Spice. Now, I was not told that the classics have to be refrigerated. Um, I really hope that they're not because for $18, I'm not going to refrigerate them anymore. I shouldn't have to refrigerate them just so I can use the product. I just feel like that's ridiculous. Every time to refrigerate it after spending $18, I think it should be great out of the package. I'm, I'm sorry, that's my opinion. A lot of people are saying I'm being biased for not wanting to refrigerate them. But if I can buy a lipstick that I don't have to refrigerate for the same price or lesser price, why would I pick the one that I have to refrigerate? If they have like the same color, except when I'm gonna have to do more work. Gorgeous. See, this is what I'm talking about. Shouldn't apply streaky. Should apply smooth just like this. This is Posh Spice. Sorry, I'm a double dipper. Like I'll keep going in and like getting more product. Love this color. Um, it reminds me a lot of Desert Suede by Dose of Colors. Um, in comparison to Dose of Colors, honestly, I prefer Jeffree's just because I feel like Dose of Colors feels very velvet. This feels very sheer. Um, applies really well, even if I smack my lips together, it's still not streaky. It applies very matte, it's, it's very comfortable. Compares to um, Virginity very well, A plus on this one. This is Posh Spice, again. I really do love this shade. That aside, I, I did refrigerate them for about like an hour now because I did it before I even started doing my makeup. Now, he said to only do it for 15 minutes. I don't think that they can be too cold because the point of it was to get the formula to not be warmed up because of shipping or whatever. I still feel like at $18, there's no reason that there should be any streaky pigment regardless of the color. Um, I feel like Jeffree should have lowered the price on these, knowing that the colors are harder to get the right pigmentation and be a like, full coverage matte finish at the same time. So I just feel like he should have lowered the price to maybe like $12, like the NYX lipsticks or like ColourPop, which is only $6. Um, I did freeze them. I mean, if you guys can kind of see that. Sorry, the light is really bright. If you guys can kind of see that. Um, it still has like condensation on it from the fridge. I just feel like, honestly, my opinion um, is that at $18, you shouldn't have to refrigerate the lipstick. The pigmentation should not be streaky regardless of the color. Otherwise, he should have lowered the price. Now, I don't see why anyone would disagree with that, only because I could get ColourPop, get fuller coverage at $6, and have the same color. Now, I completely understand that it's harder to get, for example, I did get a uh, Drug Lord, I believe that's what this color is called, uh, which is a white color to be a great pigmentation, especially considering how light this color is, but then it shouldn't be $18 because he knows that it's streaky and because the reason I know he knows it's streaky is because he uploaded on Snapchat saying that they should be refrigerated for 15 minutes, which will better the quality of the lipstick. Now I still feel like at $18, you shouldn't even have to refrigerate the lipstick only because you're paying $18. It should be great out of the package. I've never used them since I refrigerated them. I also have some colors over here like Androgyny, Posh Spice to compare to the summer collection so that way we can see if there is like some difference. I was not impressed with the first round. I did not know you were supposed to refrigerate them. I'm sorry. I do not keep up with Jeffree Snapchat and I don't find that to be rude. I mean, people were commenting things like, like, who are you to like come for Jeffrey? Like you're a nobody and just things like that. And I just feel like, what does that even have to do with the review? I mean, I wasn't bad. Like I said in the review, I wasn't bashing Jeffrey. Um, I feel like he's very creative, very talented. Uh, obviously he's very business oriented and he goes and gets what he wants, but I still feel like that, you know, there is like some inconsistencies in his brand and I find Jeffrey to be very aggressive and I know that because I find myself to be very aggressive. I mean, I'm a very sensitive person. I'm very easily offended and I will attack. 
uh, just like Jeffrey will attack on fans, and I don't think that's a very, very good trait of mine. I don't, I'm not proud of that. And I feel like him being so popular and making so much money from this company and YouTube, I feel like he should be a bit more respectable to his fans. The least Jeffrey should do is do the same for his fans, you know, tell them to be kind, tell them to be courageous, um, and that they can achieve any of their dreams. I don't really know what Jeffrey says because I've only really read what they say in the tabloids. So I really don't know much about Jeffrey, I've never met Jeffrey, but again, without further ado, here's the liquid lipsticks. So I'm going to start off with the shade Virginity because I absolutely love this shade. Um, the color's gorgeous, again, you can still see like the condensation from the refrigerator. Um, just so that way we know I did actually refrigerate them. So again, this is the shade Virginity. And... I... I say... Oh wait, I'll give my opinion after I finish putting it on. So this is Virginity. I actually do absolutely, again, I love this color. I really do enjoy wearing this color. I think it applies very, very smooth, as I said before. It is not streaky, um, nothing like it was before. It does come off matte and it still feels very comfortable to wear. It doesn't feel like it's too heavy. Um, it feels very light, actually. It's, it applies very well. This shade itself, after being refrigerated, is not streaky. I still feel like this should not be $18. Um, of course, it applies great after refrigerated, but I feel like if he knows that the formula is not going to work well with heat, he should have lowered the price. And I would prefer to have paid, say, $13, $14 on this as opposed to paying $18, just because I feel like that's a bit pricey for a lipstick, uh, especially when comparable to other. I don't really know what color would be similar to this, um, but it is lovely. I mean, I do absolutely love it. It's a darling. <laughs> love this shade. Um, love this lipstick once it's refrigerated. Now, again, I, I just can't see myself refrigerating lipsticks every time I have to use them. So here's the shade Watermelon Soda. I must say I am not impressed with this one still, like still tempted to throw this one away. Um, I feel like Virginity applied really well after being refrigerated, whereas Watermelon Soda I feel like is still just as streaky. If anything, this is probably the worst. I don't know why people were telling me this one's the best. Um, like if I can get a closer look, mm -mm. Not, not with this shade. I feel like certain parts look like it's applied more than the other parts. It's not so much that it's not full coverage, but it just looks like some parts are covered more than others, and I really just, I mean, that's the streakiness, and I really don't like this. I don't like this one. This one's not worth it still. Watermelon soda, definitely not, not worth it. I put some foundation over my lips, like very light, um, just so that we get some coverage over it. And without further ado, new, new beach. Uh, after being refrigerated for about an hour, so. Uh. <coughs> Sorry, my puppy's waking up. I definitely have to take him for a walk in a second. If you guys can see it, there's one second. <laughs> I'm sorry. So again, I'm pretty sure two coats will cover this, but if not, I'll be disappointed. <laughs> Yeah. I feel like it's still too streaky. Like, it's just the bottom lip is really streaky. So, New Beach and Watermelon Soda streaky. Virginity was perfect. I love Virginity right out the fridge. I just feel like maybe I'll try, now that it's dried a little bit more, I will try again. See if it covers. I'll go ahead and apply over it, expecting it to cover, and instead it just like streaks in di different areas. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, like honestly, if I like a product, I'm going to tell you guys. If I don't like it, I'm going to tell you guys. Because a lot of people feel like I'm being biased or like I'm bashing Jeffrey, but truth is the truth and this is the tea. It seems like it's gonna be the same consistency as watermelon soda, but I could be wrong, so let's see. Still a little bit streaky, gonna be honest with you guys. A lot less streaky for what than watermelon soda for some reason. Um, it's definitely a lot less streaky even though it's a lot more neon I feel. I feel like it's a lot brighter. Um, I'm gonna actually go ahead and try putting watermelon soda over this and see how it looks. Mm. No, <laughs> no. See, see how like, I don't know if you guys can see that but it's definitely streaking already right there. The watermelon soda just, no. I can't, I can't with 
with the summer collection and I just don't understand why people are getting so upset that I am telling you guys that it's not good. Like, if you want Jeffree's sales to go up, tell him to have a sale of like five dollars for this collection because it's not, not the P. Here's 22 by Kylie Cosmetics. And we will see a big difference in how they apply. It smells great. I mean, I just feel like, again, the scent, I mean, is everything for Kylie's because I just feel like Kylie smells really good, but whatever, it's not a Kylie review, so. See, I can smack my lips together and it doesn't, like, streak. That's what I'm talking about. So, I, that's why I like Kylie's because I can, I could, like, be in an explosion and it still wouldn't come off. Now, that can be a great thing and a bad thing. I feel like Kylie's are a bit more dry than Jeffree's. They're definitely a lot more dry. They give you a better matte look, I feel. I feel like they definitely look a lot more matte than Jeffree's. But it's very it's very much a personal opinion when it comes to that because I feel like there's nothing negative with being less matte and being more comfortable. But if you want it to look more matte but be less comfortable, you'll go with Kylie's. Now, I personally have a lot of endurance when it comes to my comfort in terms of like physical comfort and I can wear Kylie's all day because they can be uncomfortable, to be honest. Oh, what is this? <laughs> uh -uh. Okay, no, it's just ripping off Kylie's color. <laughs> um, Okay, I'm disappointed. I thought that would look really cool together, like, you know, like a sunset or something. But it started ripping Kylie's color off. This is, um, Nude Beach. Virginity, great shade, everything else was terrible. Um, I did like the originals, the classics. I loved Posh Spice, that was a great color. Like Mannequin, I like I liked the little swatches I did. I mean, I wiped them off already, but, um, I did like those colors. So... I definitely want to start doing more reviews on products. Comment down below if you enjoyed this honest review. I'm not... What I hate is false accusations. And when people are telling me that I am, like, biased against Jeffrey, it's really... I have no bias against him. I remember somebody said, like, I'm friends with Rocky and, Rocky and Roadkill or Rocky Roadkill. I've never talked to Ro Rocky Roadkill in my life. I commented on his Instagram photos and I follow him. And I think he's a gorgeous artist. And I love his Instagram posts. I don't know him for shit, so I'm not going to lie to you guys over someone I don't know. Um, I know that him and Jeffrey had like a little escandala. Honestly, I could care less. I just feel like, you know, that's their business. That's their own personal thing that's whatever happened. Um, but I definitely have no bias against his products. If it's a good product, I'm going to tell you guys. I feel like, again, his classics. Like Posh Spice, Mannequin, Androgyny, all great shades if you guys wanted to buy um, some of his originals. Now I feel like the summer collection not worth anybody's time. Um, the reason that people, I like Kylie's, some people say like, oh, why are you spending $29 on a lipstick? I mean, that one at least comes with a lip liner and it also doesn't have to be refrigerated. And she also sells them for $18 if you get the singles. So it's the same price as Jeffrey's. Honestly, I'd go with Dose of Colors because I just feel like it applies well. It's very velvety though. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to offend anybody. That's the last thing I want to do. I know my eyes look uneven. I hate it. But the last thing I want to do is offend anybody. But honestly, again, I love Kylie's. I love her formula. I think it does ball up, but the amount of time that I wear it, which is like 12 minutes in a video, it's perfect. Um, it, it dries matte so fast that like I can just smack it on, do the video, and get it over with. Um, as for Jeffrey's, it takes a bit of time to matte and kind of get onto your skin. And even when it does, you can't layer it. You can't keep layering it without it wiping off your original layer. So, and that's just for the summer collection and like dark shades like Prom Night or like high pigmented shades like Prom Night. I just, I don't know why the fans feel so obligated to attack people who give an honest opinion about Jeffrey. Anybody who is against Jeffrey's products, they just feel the need to attack them. I've had some very lovely people or fans of Jeffrey who commented saying to, um, you know, possibly try the original shades because they're a lot less streaky. Um, 
you know, that's how you go about it. You don't go about it by saying negative things about the person and saying, you know, you're a bitch or you're a nobody or you're this. Who are you? You're nothing like Jeffrey. You got nothing on Jeffrey. Jeffrey doesn't care about you. But that's not going to encourage me to buy his products. That's not going to encourage me to like Jeffrey. So if you really are a fan of Jeffrey, you're going to want to support him and you're going to want more people to like him. And in order to do that, you need to be kinder to people. You need to tell people, hey, um, I completely understand your opinion. I just feel like if you tried some other shades, possibly you might have a different opinion on it. Uh, just a suggestion. But if you go ahead and say you're a loser, you're a nobody, like you're not tempting me to buy his products anymore. You're just tempting me to completely block out Jeffrey and never mention him again and not give him any promotion because his fans are obviously very negative. Um, and I don't think that people want that light on Jeffrey. Do you really want people to think, oh, Jeffrey and his fans are so negative? I don't think you really want that if you're a true fan of Jeffrey, would you? See, that's just, that's what I'm trying to get at. That's all I want to say. But thank you for enjoying this video or watching this video. If you didn't enjoy it, whatever, but that's my review. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video, comment down below your thoughts, and subscribe. See ya.